Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be reviewing the new podium vehicle, the BF Club! As always, I'm gonna be taking a look at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs, and ultimately the goal of this video is to tell you if it's worth it. Now with that out of the way, let's start with the 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First off, if you couldn't tell, this vehicle is a part of the compact category in GT Online, it's based on the first generation Golf. Well, Golf. And in-game it's gonna cost you 1.3 million dollars, which is kind of expensive for uh, this type of vehicle. But it is what it is. In terms of uh, interactivity, this is what you can expect from it. You can open both doors, the hood and the trunk. And mm -mm -mm, mm -mm 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 -mm, that's a good looking engine. And all in all, the exterior is pretty faithful to what it's supposed to represent. And I'm not a big fan of the first generation Golf, but it is what it is. Some of you maybe are and... Uh, okay. This vehicle was released in the middle of 2020, which makes it about three years old as of the making of this video. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what the customization uh, story is going to be like. In any case, that's the exterior of the vehicle done. Now let's jump in and look at the interior and listen to how the car sounds. And here we are inside and we have a rear view mirror. We have two on the sides and uh, that's pretty much it. For such a tiny car, it sounds fairly decently. And with that, let's see what type of drivetrain we are dealing with here. And since it's a Golf, I'm gonna make an assumption and say it's a front-wheel drive. And, uh, well, yeah, yeah, it's a front-wheel drive car, all right? And with that, we are off to Los Santos Customs to see what we can customize on the BF Club. I was gonna say the Golf there for a second. And, of course, on our way there, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of this one. And before I do that, I just wanted to mention that this vehicle has been on the podium before about a year ago from what I can remember uh, and that's basically everything I remember about it. I don't remember my opinion of it, I don't, rem don't remember even driving it, I only remember uh, it was pink. But uh, that is what it is. So far I can tell that uh, the acceleration is honestly for its class decent, the top speed is really good I believe for its class and the handling is... Really snappy. I kind of like it. For a front-wheel drive car, it's not that bad. And keep in mind that this is only the stock version of the club. So maybe things are going to get better when we fully customize and modify this one. Oops. But uh, there is only one way to find that out. And that's to go to Los Santos Customs and start customizing. So guess what we're going to do? Go to Los Santos Customs and start customizing. And as mentioned before, this vehicle is part of the sports... Uh, sports the compact category in GTA online and you can sell it for a little under ten thousand dollars which is okay because well we got it for free so beggars can't be choosers prepare the vehicle and we're gonna upgrade all the performance options up front aside from the armor because I really don't care about that engine and uh, let's see now the, the transmission and the turbo there we go yes. and now we can start customizing the Oh, that's unfortunate. We can start customizing the exterior of the vehicle. Why does that look so ugly? Okay. Oh, uh, do I do I want to make it carbon? Why not? Let's let's put carbon on it. Everywhere, everywhere we can at least. Right let's see now. Brakes we did. The front bumper. Maybe make it carbon as well. Because why not at this point? Although I kind of like the racing kit, so I'm going to be now sticking with that. Rear job. bumper. Let's see now. We can go with the carbon racing bumper. Yeah, that's the one that I want, that's even though it costs great. almost $15,000, which is insane. Exhaust. Do we have a side exhaust? Honestly, I'm kind, of, uh, I'm kind of happy with the level of customization we have so far. Ooh, that's fun. That one's kind of interesting. But I think I want to go with this one. And next up, we have the fenders. Which of course we can uh, we can go full carbon on as well, so of course we are. Ooh, we can completely delete the headlights, which is an interesting choice, but I'm not gonna be doing that since I want to drive the car in uh, at night as well. I wonder if this is gonna if this is gonna allow the headlights to work or not. 
Only one way to find out. Let's try. And uh, the hood options are... Ooh, we can completely remove the hood. That's an interesting one. We can put a carbon hood on it. We can go with this one, which I believe has a little bit of carbon over there. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe there's a secondary color. Uh, let's see now. Ooh, this one's interesting. Yeah, why not? Let's go with this one. Uh, liveries! Here are all the liveries we can choose from, and... Uh, I gotta say, some are looking cool. Oh, I remember there was a rusty. There we go. There was a rusty livery when I originally customized this vehicle. Oh my god, there are levels of rusty liveries. That's cool. But uh, for the sake of the video, let's just go with the non option because we are gonna be respraying the vehicle at the end of our stay at Los Santos Customs. And of course, before we do that, yellow and black for the license plate. Roof! I wonder if we can make this carbon as well. Oh, well, that answers that. Do I dare do this? Go with the window louvers? Yeah, why not? Spoiler! I want to put a big old spoiler on it. Well, maybe not that big. But uh, I think I want to go with... Uh, hmm. Carbon competition wing? Yeah, why not? But even though it's 17.5. Sun strips! Oh, we can delete the rear windows. That's an interesting idea. Oh, and we can carbon them up. Definitely gonna go with that one. Suspension, we can slam the vehicle to the ground, which is something that I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna go with the street suspension. Turbo, yeah, wheels. I think I'm happy with those, at least so far. Yeah, why not? It's, uh... I can't really ugly it up anymore. And uh, let's see now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Respray the vehicle. And as always, I asked you guys, the viewers of the Bullshit Party, what color do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now? And this week we did something that we haven't done before. We went with the chameleon colors. I know it's pronounced chameleon. I just like saying chameleon. In any case, we went with chameleon colors. And uh, this week we are going to go with dark purple pearl for the color of the vehicle, which is this one. It's an interesting color, an interesting choice, and as always, thank you to everybody that voted on the poll, and hopefully you'll like what you're seeing. Wow. And if you're not a subscriber, by the way, subscribe so you can get access to the polls every week. I do these every week, so you guys can decide what color to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now. Let's go with this one. Secondary color, something matte, maybe? Even though I don't see a secondary color anywhere okay we don't have a secondary color and a bummer that we don't have a crew emblem but it is what it is maybe the crew emblem was gonna be on the hood I just want to check that one out let's see if we go with the stock hood are we gonna have a hood uh, do, 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 do. respray whoops respray yep we can go with a crew emblem Okay, so I guess we're going with the hood. And here we are on the outside, and this is the moment of truth to see if we can in fact turn on the headlights. Cool, we can. Okay, so we didn't completely ruin this one. And, ooh, I, I'm noticing immediately a burst of power. Yeah, this vehicle has definitely been improved and upgraded. Yeah, it's a really snappy, compact car. I gotta say, my favorite feature of the vehicle is the way it behaves around corners. And just when you flick the analog stick, it's it's so snappy and quick in the way it, it turns. It's almost like a bee. You know, it doesn't it doesn't really require a lot of space to make a turn, and it's very responsive. Well, aside from then. But yeah, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. 1.3 million dollars. This one is, uh, hmm. I think it's it's worth it even for for paying money for it. Getting it for free is a no-brainer. The level of customization is decent enough, and the customization itself is pretty cool. Unlike the new vehicle added to the game, the hot ring, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that one was uh, was garbage. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. 
If you're, by the way, curious to hear my thoughts on the Hot Ring uh, Everon or whatever it's called, I'm gonna link a video right here, so you can go watch it and uh, and not buy it ultimately because it's a horrible, 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 horrible vehicle, and it's a complete waste of money. But this one, the BF Club, honestly, I'm surprised by how much I like it. I'm gonna be keeping this one, and uh, most importantly, I'm curious to know what your guys' thoughts are on it. Uh, are you? Ooh, there you go. We don't have a hood anymore. And we still had an emblem for about two minutes. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the vehicle. Do you like it, hate it, are indifferent to it? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you to everybody that watched the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Now let's go put it next to the other one. Which I hope is not pink anymore.